Hey guys, it's Max, and we're back with Battle Code 2016. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how to escape a pocket once you've gotten into it. You might find online or in other computer science courses that there are a lot of different ways of pathing around an obstacle. In this video, we're going to use one that I came up with. I don't know if I was the first one, probably not. And it's just based on common sense. It's not too complicated and very easy to code. So let's get into it. Let's make a new array list containing the locations where we've been before. An array list is a bit like an array, but it can be resized, and it has some special functions that we're going to use as well. We'll call it past locations, and we'll initialize it like this. There's an underline because we need to import the package that contains array list. So we'll just mouse over it and import array list like this java.util.arraylist. Then we're going to record all our past locations and we're not going to visit them again. And you're going to see what effect this has. Okay, so let's see here. Under forward ish, this is where we were trying to move. Let's record our position before we move. So pass locations dot add rc dot get location. We don't want that list to become infinitely long. It could be hundreds and hundreds of elements long, and that can slow things down. Also, each robot is limited to a certain amount of heap space, eight megabytes if I remember correctly, and so you generally want to keep your memory usage down. So let's do this. If pass locations dot size, the size of that array list. Note, it's not length because it's not a usual array. If that size is greater than, say, 20, then we'll remove an item. Pass locations dot remove 0. So we'll remove the oldest item because add adds it to the end of the list. An array list is nice here because as we remove items from the beginning, everything shifts, so it's not growing any larger. Pretty sure. So now we've made sure that our pass locations are remembered up to a point. Let's now use them. So usually we just check to see if we can move in a direction, which is based on the number of robots nearby, based on the rubble ahead. But let's also check that the past location list does not contain the new location that we're trying to go to. What location is that? Let's define it. Candidate location equals rc.getLocation dot add the candidate direction. So we don't want to go to a place we've already been. Simple, right? OK, so now we're just going to try to go in places that we haven't been before. That's all there is to it. Now, wasn't that easy? If anybody around here has implemented A star or bug pathing, you'll see that this was super easy. But maybe you're not convinced that it's even going to help. Well, let's do an example. So while this thing compiles on my ultra slow 2008 laptop, I'm going to open up that wonderful program MS Paint. What I'll do is I've got an example of a guy who's moving up and to the right, and I'll just highlight in light blue, which is a nice color, why not? Light blue is good. The tiles that he's been before as he's going up and to the right. So he goes up to here, hits this tile, and the closest tile to where he's trying to go is here. So he'll go here. And now he's blocked on these three sides and these two, so he'll probably go back to one of these two. So he goes here. Now he's only blocked on these three tiles, and in the previous algorithm he would just go back up, and he would just sort of oscillate around here. But if he avoids going where he's been before, now maybe he'll have to go here. And in the next tile, he sees these all obstacles, and maybe he goes here. And then He's surrounded on these four sides, so then he goes here. And gradually, it fills up, and he gets out. Well, that's what I claim. Let's see if it's true. So we're going to see Lecture Player 1 against Lecture Player 1 on Get to Work. And we're going to see our guys and see if they can get out of these pockets. I mean, yeah, they're going to waffle around inside those pockets for some time. But let's watch this guy, for example. Look at him go. OK, he's in a second pocket. <gasps> he got out. Now. That's really something. Cool, huh? Some guys got stuck, these guys in particular, because there are other enemies in the way. It's sort of a special condition. These guys are attacking. These guys are sort of walled in by their decisions 
not to go where they have been. And in this case, I think we'll have to write something special where they sort of lose patience and then just decide that I'll just go for it, just dig, just dig. Because after all, you know, that may be the fastest way to the other side. So uh, a little bit of impatience, I think, is going to make this good. We'll do that in the next video. See you then.